Hello and welcome everybody, it's KB here. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make Windows 11 bootable flash drive. So I'm going to show you guys two methods to do this. So let's head over to first method. So first method is going to be using a media creation tool for Windows 11. If you go to the official site of Microsoft where you can download the Windows 11. Here you will see three options to download Windows 11. But if you want to make a bootable USB flash drive, you'll have to download the second option which is create Windows 11 installation media. So click on download and it will download media creation tool Win11 EXE. So open that program and just wait, accept the terms and conditions. Okay. And now you will get to choose a language and addition. You can use recommended options for this PC. It will automatically choose the language and the addition. If you like to change, then uncheck this and hit next. And here is the main thing. So if you want to make a bootable USB flash drive, then you'll have to choose the option USB flash drive and make sure your USB flash drive is at least eight gigabyte or higher. If it is like four or six gigabyte, it will not work. But if you like to download a ISO file, you don't want to make a USB flash drive, then you can also download a Windows 11 ISO file. So in this case, we are making a bootable flash drive. So check on the USB flash drive option and click next. And here we need to choose our USB flash drive. So insert your USB flash drive. If you don't see your USB flash drive here, click on refresh list and here you will see USB flash drive. If you have multiple USB flash drives, then choose your preferred USB flash drive. Since I have only one, so I'm going to choose select that. It will be blue if you select that and hit next. And now it's downloading the Windows 11 and then it will put that Windows 11 into your USB flash drive and it will make bootable USB flash drive. Easy peasy. And this is like the official way to make a Windows 11 USB flash drive. And this is for those people who don't trust uh, the third party tools to make a bootable USB drive. So yeah, this is like the official and easy way to make a Windows 11 USB flash drive. And when it reaches to 100% here, uh, it will say done finish then you will be able to use your usb flash drive to install windows 11 on any pc so now let me show you the second method which i personally recommend you guys because that method is the best one and i will show you why so let me show you the second method all right the second method i recommend you guys to use ventoy software. This is a open source software which allows you to make a Windows 11, not only Windows 11, you can make almost any operating systems bootable USB flash drive. You can use Windows 7, 10, 8, Linux, Android, even a Chrome OS, some selected Chrome OS. So yeah, it's pretty cool and amazing software to make a bootable USB drive for any OS. So in this case, we are just talking about Windows 11. So go to downloads and after that, go to windows.zip. It will open the new page and in here, just scroll down a tiny bit. And after that, again, select on windows.zip and it will download the zip file open the folder okay it should be in your downloads folder just like that now right click and unzip it because it's in zip file okay extract it and you'll get a new folder go inside that folder go again inside that folder here you will see ventoy to disk.exe you need to run this as administrator all right just run that and here is the actual program so it will automatically choose 
one of the USB flash drive that you have since in my case I have only one flash drive which is 32 gigs so I don't have to choose anything so if you want to use another flash drive or if you haven't inserted your flash drive insert your flash drive and then click on this green icon and it will show your USB flash drive here so here for the Windows 11 what you need to do is click on options check on secure boot support okay and after that partition style GPT and that's all that's all you need to change and if you like to change the language you can go here and change the language all right and now once you have done these settings all you need to do is click on install and it will give you the warning click yes double check click yes because it will format your usb uh, drive so that's why that was the warning for that that if there is anything backup before you format your usb flash drive so now it will say congratulations ventoy has been successfully installed to this device so you may be thinking how are we going to make it bootable actually it's bootable already now all we need to do here is that copy any iso file such as windows 11 to your usb flash drive and it will also rename your usb flash drive to ventoy so if you have a multiple usb flash drive it will be easy to recognize which one is the bootable usb flash drive so it will be empty by default okay but we did install the ventoy program in it so it's already bootable even if you don't put anything you can boot this uh, usb flash drive it's amazing okay so now go to your download folders or wherever you have downloaded the windows 11 iso file in my case it's in downloads folder okay copy that if you don't know how to get the windows 11 iso file i have made a video on that too you can go there and watch that video and download the windows 11 iso file i will put link in the description okay so copy that iso file and go to ventoy usb flash drive and paste that iso file inside all right and that's all you need to do so when you're done installing windows 11 you can actually delete that iso file and you can use uh, your usb flash drive as usual and if you need to boot windows 11 again you can copy uh, the windows 11's iso file into it and you can boot it so you know the thing is uh, with the ventoy is that you don't have to burn a iso into it okay you just copy the iso inside your usb flash drive and you're done yeah that's easy so i'm gonna give you the example let it finish uh, i'm gonna show you guys how it actually works okay and if you can also put multiple iso files like windows 11 10 and you can choose which uh, iso file you want to use when you're booting from usb flash drive so it's a amazing program you can also store your files it won't hurt the bootable system so yeah i recommend you guys to use this tool to make a bootable usb flash drive it's uh, the best in my opinion okay all right um, now you know obviously you need to boot into the boot manager or boot menu and in here you need to select your usb flash drive so i'm using a virtual machine to show you guys this so this is a usb device you can see you need to choose a usb device any bootable uh, system will be detected in your boot menu okay so make sure in your bios you have uh, have the option on boot from usb something like that by default everything works okay so in your boot menu if you see the usb device select that and hit enter and uh, let it boot and uh, yeah so you can see here this is the ventoy and this is how it works and 
Earlier, we copied the Windows 11 ISO file. You can see there is the Windows 11 ISO file. If you have multiple ISO files, you can choose in between them. So this is how the Ventoy works. It's amazing tool. So choose your ISO file here and hit enter and it will boot Windows 11. So you can see Windows 11 is booting. So this is how this Ventoy works. This is the best way to make a bootable USB drive, not only to Windows 11, any operating system, Linux, some selected Android OS, some selected Chrome OS, such as the, uh, what do you call it, Fade OS. So you can use this Ventoy tool to make any operating systems bootable USB flash drive. I'm saying it again and again, but you know, this is like literally the best software to make a bootable USB flash drive. So that's why I'm, I may be repeating this over and over again. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. I will put link in the description for the official uh, media creation tool download link. You can go there, download that. If you like to use the Ventoy, I will put link in the description for the Ventoy. You can go there and use it. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.